What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to show you the newest features in iOS 10.3 Beta 1. Let's get started. Okay, so one of the cool features in iOS 10.3 Beta 1 is if you look in the widget panel, you will now see that there is a new widget for podcasts. So I don't use this, but for people who do, this will be very useful. Also, if you go into Find My iPhone, you will now see that there is an option to find your lost ear pods. Now, what this will do is it will make a sound on your ear pods that will help you find them and it will show them on the map, which is pretty cool. So this next one is kind of good. So in set if you look at the very top there is now a new location for all of everything that has to do with your Apple ID so if you click on that you will see that all your settings for your Apple ID are in one place so this can be very handy but it's gonna stink for me because I'm gonna have to edit it out out of every single video so that stinks and sadly with this update there is no new night mode it's only for the Apple watch so if you were expecting that I'm very sorry to tell you that that is not going to happen so that really stinks so if you are an Apple App Store developer and you develop apps for the App Store, then this will be very useful for you because App Store developers are now able to respond to reviews, which is pretty cool. So what this will do is it will help people get replies from developers and they will be able to fix any issues with the app and get better feedback, which is good. Also, there is a new animation in iOS 10. The edges are sort of curved, so I will slow this down. I'm going to play it back a lot so you can see right now. Also, if you go into maps, you will see that there is a new 3D touch toggle so you can view the weather in that area. And if you force press even harder, it will take you straight to the weather app. So I'm not sure how useful this is, but hey, it's there. And last but not least, iOS 10 has a fully new redesigned file system. So what this will do is it relocated pretty much all the files so it's a smarter method and it will speed up your device a little bit more so that way your iPhone just runs better. So I haven't noticed any differences, but it's better and it's a nice improvement. Anyways, that's about it for today. I'm going to be doing more of these iOS update videos. I really want to do these. I'm still going to have my usual videos. Oh, so that's going to be about it for today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.